welcome to my channel welcome to another video today in this video i will be talking about how do you own your own home through a mortgage or a loan first of all first of all what you got to do is make sure that you are qualified for a mortgage make sure that your benefit has been paid if you are self-employed you have to make sure that you pay your due diligence every month if you are working with a company the company has to pay your money that they have withdrawn from your salary every month to the nht then First of all, you as an individual, what you do is go to the mortgage department. That's the first place you go and check to see how much you are qualified for. And the requirement to do this is by taking along with you your pay slip, three months pay slip, your NIS your TRN, your national ID, right? That's all you need, your birth certificate if you have, but as long as you have your NIS, your TRN, and your ID, and your pay slips, or your bank deposit, or the, invo the receipts of sh showing to the NHD mortgage department. When, if you're a self-employed, you bring the receipt that you paid, your monthly tax and NIS through right residue to the NHT. When you go to the mortgage department, I'm telling you step by step of how you should go about owning your own home through the mortgage. You go there, you go to the the, the mortgage department, and when you go there, they will take all your documentation from you and they will go on the computer and they will type in your documentation then after they type in they will let you know the amount that you are qualified for if they go on the system and they do not see if you're working with a company and they go on the system and they don't see that no money was paid for you by your company they will let you know and when they let you know what they would have given to you is they would have given you uh send you to the compliance department right they would have sent you to the compliance department and when they send you to the compliance department that's where you go and they check and they give you a letter and this letter is taken to your company or they will send to your company and your company now will have to send a check to the NHT to, to, to clear up your money that they have drawn so you can get your benefit. A lot of people don't know this, but this is very important. When you go to when you go to NHT and you check and there is no money paid for you, don't walk away, just go. Ask them, what do I do? Ask the customer service, what do I do now? And they will have, they will tell you that, send you to the compliance department. They go to the compliance department. The compliance department will help you get your benefit that is due unto you so you can own your own home. The compliance department is there. It's a legal department that help you with your marriage that your company have not drawn. Well, I'm telling you this, it happened to me already. This is an experience that I have had already. I go, you have to be smart. You have to go, just don't walk away and go home and say, my company of course, and said my company not paying for me. Go to the compliance department. The compliance department will give you the letter. You take the letter. You have a copy for yourself. Your company have a copy. You check back with the NHT and see if your money has been paid. When your money has been paid over to the NHT, what you need to do after that 
is you go they tell you your money paid over you go to you seek either open market because now it was first time it was 3.5 million you get for a home it work out it end up elevated to 6.5 now it's 8.5 million and if so be it required it can be more than that so these are the step that you take in acquiring your own home then after you get this mortgage they will give you a paperwork on the nht after the, all the first part i told you has been clarified they will give you a paper with the listing of your nis again your trn they, they will give you a valuation on that paper it will mark valuation report surveyors report right and it will write sorry i am stomach sometime they will give you and that paper also will give you the percentage of your down payment it will state it some vendor require five percent of of down payment and some require ten you if you're doing an open market some vendor five percent some people ten percent but as long as they give you these required requirement of the valuation report the surveyors report the receipt of your down payment you come back with the location to the nht you go to the loan department you, you can either get your house to a scheme house or through an open market house because nht building houses if it's one of their houses that you got you would have to some houses are qualified for more than what you have been bargaining for so they will advise you that you have to get a joint loan which depending on how you will get this loan is depending on how much you are earning because if you are going to the bank to get um, a loan from the bank to put together with the benefit you are getting from the nht it is required salary based on salary your salary you have to your pay has to can prove that i am able to pay my mortgage over to the nht and my mortgage at the bank for this property that's how it is it goes with buying a property right the down payment the location right with a open market or a scheme house or build on your own land it's the same process that you require to get all these benefit but the first part of the story is that you have to first get approval from your loans department wherever you're getting a loan from whether the bank or to the nht you have to make sure that your pay slip is matching the benefit that you will be getting uh, these are the steps to gain in your own home it's not hard and it's not easy one you need your id two you need your trn three you need ID, TRN, NIS, right? The down payment, the 5% or 10% deposit that the vendor require, you need that, right? Then the allocation of the house. Open market sometimes is the better deal or fix a hopper you can buy a fix a hopper house because my home what that that high we bought it is we bought that house and we fix it up we move doors we move windows we repaint we, we do a lot of renovation we don't stop yet it still need more improvement every day but sometimes you buy a fix a hopper house which is sometimes you get a good deal sometimes the deal is very good that you got Sometimes you will say, oh, 
if I could spend so much money and buy fix up this that house, me no want it. But sometimes you fix a hopper. Sometimes it's more valuable than the brand new one bedroom house that you are buying, right? So this is just this vlog is just to highlight you about how you can home own your own home and um this is just to let you know the steps in taking in getting your own home the deposit is so important this is what bothers a lot of people to get their own home the deposit and they don't pay but it can happen as i tell you when this year start this is 2023 put a little money down just for that right and if you're buying a property also which is very important you are buying joining with someone to put your to buy a property ensure that your name is also added to the title do not join a house join buying somewhere with somebody and your name is not on the title if you buy somewhere with somebody and your name is not on the title that simply means it's not yours it's not yours your name has to be in it or joint tenancy or tenant in common. But do not buy a home with someone and they had the person name alone to it. You will not have any hopes. Right? So this is what I am telling you guys for this vlog is to encourage somebody and encourage you the way to go about owning your own property whether here or abroad if you are abroad you have to make sure your credit is about 680 you have to make sure your credit is good fix your credit so you can get a mortgage abroad anybody can own their own home as long as they put their mind to it and put savings towards it but remember the down payment is always the most important part of the game all the rest of the documentation is there already it's just the money part is the important part of the game anyway guys thank you for watching this financial vlog and this vlog about mortgage and your way to go about getting your mortgage together right Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.